Hello. What have we got to choose from here? Skip, Gwen, Wonder, Waddle, or Horde Dragon? I'd say out of those, who's the strongest? Probably Horde Dragon has the most potential. Because level 7 artifacts are insane, and level 3 instead of 2 is just so good. Hmm. Wonder Waddle is also nice. Very easy access to those very good level 3 artifacts. And I guess Skip and Gwen are more situational. Hmm. I think I'm going with Horde Dragon. Let's try and high roll it. I'm... okay. Happy little tree. That's fine. Nah, let's try for another tree. If you can find two trees early, they can be the core strength of your build until you reach about level 6. Used to be that they'd be amazing at 6 with uh, shoulder fairies, but not anymore. Hmm. He probably took the additional animal with plus one plus one, so no matter what I take, I'd lose. If it's a 2-2 two, two, it becomes a 3-3 three, three and it beats anything I had available. Huh. I guess not. Interesting. A bit greedy. Now uh, let's take this. Okay, we got a free reroll. That we didn't really ask for, but that's fine. Let's take tiny. I'm not saving for dwarves. I think in this version dwarves are really bad and I don't see too many people going them either. I think they're almost not viable. I mean, you can get like second places with dwarves if you get them early enough, but they just don't hold up in the late game against the other strategies. They just don't. Their numbers are too low. It's too hard to get them to be big enough. Hmm, I guess. Early enough, I'll take you. Should I take a prince or a dwarf? The prince has a chance to give me a good returns later on. And the dwarf is just slightly better right now. I guess we'll take the prince. I'm forfeiting this round anyway. It's not like I had anything strong the entire uh, time offered to me. I guess I could have had... A string of two twos instead of the one ones and one five. Might be enough to save me a point of damage, but I think this will give returns later on. Early trees can do work. I wonder what the fates have been upgrading. I see a lot of people re-rolling in turn one to try and get the blind mouse of the fates. Did he get one of those, uh, cats? Kitty Cutpuss? Really? If that's what he got on turn 1, that's sad. So, XP is very nice, but, uh... We're so weak, it's not worth it, we'll lose so much health. As for the rest of them... To put it gently, they're awful. Not at all what we need. I'm rolling. I can't believe I'm doing this. Okay, that's very nice for us. But... I need another two. I'm... Taking this. How about it? I think it's the strongest we could be at this point in the game. There's two evil queens here, but nothing is evil on our side, and level 4 artifacts aren't that amazing, apart from Sky Castle for Prince Princesses. And it's not like we have a basis for that. Didn't see any Romeo, didn't see huh, anything much. I think we have a good chance at winning now. Yep, we won. Getting the bonus from the stag on two high health targets was very useful. Okay, what are we taking here? I guess the chicken and turn the chicken into something more useful. Ah, that's fine. Should I take her just to fill out? Probably. Possibly, probably. Hmm. Fine. We are fighting first place, I guess. All we got as strength is one frog and the stag giving the two trees power. That's it. 
it's not stable because if the stack dies first then well we are kind of goners but i guess it might help for now we're middle of the pack in terms of health so we're doing better than let's say pan's shadow the other late game character here who is uh last place not that i should be mocking him since i might just be joining him right now as soon as this battle's over huh it's strange to see Loki place third. I so often find myself doing exceedingly well the first couple of turns of Loki. He just gives you free characters a lot of the time. And the 1 in 8 happened and we are very sad. Okay, the upgraded character died. Now I'm unlikely to kill even one more. No wait, we did kill one more, amazing. Try not to give that guy too much gold with Greedy. <laughs> we gave him no gold, good. He's already first place, don't, no need to give him handouts. I guess, may as well take it. Uh, two spells, it's great for her and I could have a spell river be 3-3 ranged, which ah, I don't think it's even worth it. Okay, we'll steal something off a of few. Uh, maybe I should have taken that guy? I can take one and then uh, wake her up next round. This is really questionable. We haven't seen Mad Meme at all. We haven't seen the Good Witch. Uh, either would be very nice of our supports here. Another stag would do amazingly well for us. Unfortunately, what we've seen hasn't been great. Should we take the Sleeping Princess? It's gonna be an 8 8 next turn. Is there anything on 4 that'll be significantly better than an 8 8? Maybe not, huh? Maybe I should take 8 8 next turn. Better than nothing. Miri is doing very badly. Just what did he get or not get, as the case is, to be placed that badly? Must have tried very hard to get Prince Princesses and got none. Or at least no triples. That's fine. That's not so fine. Don't kill my stag. Okay. The stag is gonna ruin us. It's just upgraded so it's too big. Yep. Plus 6 plus 6 is insane. Hmm, I don't think I believe in Juliet and Romeo here. Hmm, should I just turn evil right now? I think that's my best chance at making it through the mint game, right? It's too greedy to go treasure map. Treasure map would make the next treasure 3 levels higher, so level 4 character becomes level 7. That could be amazing. Even level 3 becomes level 6, which is also amazing. But... If I don't see, let's say, the third princess, I could lose. Ancient Sarcophagus, the main drawback, I don't have any evil. Thing is, it can, in about a turn or two, really stand the bleeding. You know what? To hell with it. We're taking this. Hmm. Take Juliet or just hope for another princess. Hmm. Juliet is much bigger than what I got. I guess. 14-14. I should definitely move to a 14-14. Should I take the XP? Depends on how low I get, I suppose. So we've gotten slightly stronger. Wait, I have an awakened princess. <laughs> Never mind. Should have put it instead of the one of those trees. Wouldn't have mattered. I was gonna place her right there. Oh, Dusa? Seriously? And of course it attacks the... Ah. My luck today has been amazing. If something can go wrong, it will. Hmm, I will still win this, so... He will get the one gold. But at least I don't lose more health. So that's nice. Okay, definitely worth putting in. 
I'm no longer scared of Wish Upon a Star. We just have enough stuff that's significantly big to support it. One Gingerbread Knight is actually a level 7 artifact which could set us up for winning this game. Level 7 artifacts are often very strong. If you find for example Black Prism, put one buff suddenly your entire board becomes significantly stronger. It doesn't even matter whether they stay or not, they'll just... My entire board has plus 4 attack, that's better than a level 4 artifact, Ring of Rage. And it's one spell, once you've got uh, Black Prism. Loki, he's been very stable. Hasn't lost a round in a while. Should be very strong. Not that we're weak with those Gingerbread Knights. 14 14 is pretty big right now. But... Maybe. Huh, he got a level 6 character. Lucky. Okay, that's good for me. That's also good for me. But I still lose this. If he attacked the other guy and my guy attacked one of these, I might have tied? There's two bears, but I have no way to buff them at all. So I guess I'm skipping the two bears? Very expensive. Trees. Should I go trees? Probably. Should I buff trees? I have trees that, I, that want buffing, yes. That's an excellent second tree. So this tree here, this tree here, and that tree there. Can I buy the other tree and just have it buffed instead? One, two, three, four? It's not enough. And I don't really want to give up the a happy little tree. They're quite big. So no, I'm not losing anything out of this. Hmm, if I can find either a gingerbread knight, or a burning tree, or even a sleeping princess next turn, level 6 or 7 artifact can do amazing stuff for me. Even level 6 is good enough, because of singing sword being amazing with trees. Also, uh, the spear being very strong in general, until we reach level uh, 6 late game. Even then, it's not bad, I guess, with uh, wizards. Hmm, does it still matter? I don't know, 7-7 seven, seven might not be enough in the late game. Wizards attack plenty of times, but... Okay, that came out quite well for us. I guess it really doesn't matter. That guy is too weak. Not that he stopped that long ago, really. I think he just lost. Because... We are ahead of the curve on XP, should be. Hmm, should I buff one of these trees? They're nice, but probably not. Should I buff them with attack? Probably yes. This is actually impactful on me surviving. Health is nice for the late game, but uh, 7 or 5 attack, no matter how high the health, it's not gonna do much. On the other hand, 4 attack might actually do something for me. I still feel like I'm going to lose this and lose the game while I'm at it. Well, maybe not, he's level 5. So I guess there's a chance that we lose 6, 7, 8 health and survive. I just don't see myself winning this one. We're not nearly strong enough to fight a first place level 5 right now, no. It's unfortunate, we only had one triple the entire game. What's the triple? No, we didn't have a single triple. It was just Cinderella. <laughs> My luck has been amazing today, but then again, I don't want to whinge about it too much. So let's try and enjoy the game. Oh, if it keeps going, that is. 
1712 is what I wanted to hit. Still do. Okay, that's really saving me. Because I don't know if I can... Yeah, I should have enough to kill it, right? Exactly. Yeah. We actually won. Level 7 artifact. Yeah, taking it. Round table with trees? That's kind of insane, isn't it? No, wait. Huh. We just got insane. Do I take the Soltak Ancient? Nah, I shouldn't, probably. I mean, it's stronger than a lot of the stuff that I currently have in, but... They are stronger. I guess I shouldn't be too greedy. I'm getting to 6. Not that quickly, actually. Loki got more XP. He doesn't even have to pay for it. That kind of lucky Loki is really... Too much, isn't it? I mean, getting an early start is nice, but getting a very stable start, still 35 health and excellent late game. Think about it, Skip's entire shtick is 2 XP, and that's it, and he pays for it on his first turn. Wow. He got an upgraded Echo Wood. Well, hopefully he dies now. That's the best target he could have hoped for. He dies now. That frees up the Echo Wood, which we very much want. Echo Wood with a uh, round table is insane on trees. Absolutely insane. Hmm. What more trees are? Should we? I guess. Don't be too greedy. Ah, an Echo Wood. Excellent. Next round we'll take that Echo Wood. And then what? Hum. Well, the Echo Wood does enough. It'll have plenty of health and even damage. I mean, plenty of damage and even health. This thing gets 40 damage, this thing gets 20 damage. This thing gets uh, 23? No, 25, yes. Which means 25 health. This thing gets 19, which means 19 health. <sighs> it should be enough. Maybe for once today I have had quite a few games and none of them were even the least bit lucky. Come on. Give me a little chance. Why is the stag there? This guy has an upgraded burning tree which I want to take away from you, so please die. Thank you. Huh. Phoenix Feather? It's very, very good of Echo Wood. Can I sell? One, two, three, and then I'd have to sell a 4 4. I can't get that Heartwood Elder. I mean, the Heartwood Elder is amazing uh, with an Ash Down if it gets a couple of rounds to buff it. But seeing as we don't even have an Ash Down, I don't think it's worth keeping for. Now this thing is going to get twice as much health as it can get attack, 70 attack, which means 140 health, that thing is going to get 140 health as well. And uh, all of the attack it gains from others I think is also health, right? Hmm, we'll see how it goes. 
I actually think its health might be higher than its attack, causing it to buff it this way, meaning it's gonna have a 140-140 rather than uh, first buffing. Yeah, 140-160. Fair enough. That's very unfortunate. Okay, do you get one cheat? If you do, I probably lost the game. No cheats, but there is spear. And they're all upgraded. If one of them survives, I lose. Yeah, I lose. These artifacts are too good. Oh wait, <laughs> I get a second one. Never mind. My artifacts are also very strong. Although they're more late gamey, uh, definitely sell for more gold. Forget about spells, just need trees. I guess. Honestly, it's not that amazing. Wait, you should be there. Hmm. Does it? No. It's actually worse. <laughs> uh, do I need you? What do you have? Is 2020? No, you're not worthwhile. This is a level five artifact. If I get a doubler for Phoenix Feather, it's nice. But that's quite the cost for something like this. I guess I'll risk it. Okay, that's... Worth it if I can find... Ah, excellent. Exactly what we needed. Okay. Let's see, we want something else to attack into that tree before our uh, 50, 150, 350 actually goes out. Of course not. Two Dusa. Very strong. There's a Dusa alive, so we can still lose. There's another tree. We definitely lost. We didn't get the kind of strength we needed and he just got lucky once and that's it. Second place is still good enough I guess. I really wanted that first place today with so many losses, but you don't always get what you want. I guess I'll be unsatisfied today, but as always tomorrow. Thanks for watching, if you enjoyed then like, comment, subscribe and I will see you next time.